Good morning, everybody. It is February 28th, 2021. Week, Week number 117. 117. We shared the job today. Of our keto journey. <laughs> Thanks for checking in with us. We had a busy week this week. Yes. Productive, though. We got our taxes finally done. Yes. It was a little sad, but it's done. <laughs> and it's sent off to the accountant. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Stacy was even up on the roof this week. We had some, um, I guess, just call it siding or something around our chimney came off. Yeah. So, had to send Stace up and hammer it up. See, we already had a problem with the siding on... <laughs> the roof we didn't need a problem with the siding on the roof and a hole in the roof if i got up there so stace did it true story <laughs> true true yeah been a very weird week i've opened uh, most of the week at costco which is why we're here today not yesterday um my 4 a lot of 4 a.m yeah, yeah those are not fun however yesterday i did get to play on well not play i was working on our scissor lift uh doing some painting um up on the Right, the ceiling, ceiling. So, uh, yeah. yeah, Bill was like, "Oh, you're up there." I said, "Yes, I'm harnessed in, and all is good." Um, good. But it's a it's a pretty cool bird's eye view of Costco when you're all the way up and you can see a majority of the store from that high up. All right, well, let's get into our weights and our keto journey. So last week I was three thirty eight point four, and this morning I was three thirty seven point zero. So I am down one point four. So, um, yeah, I, I tried to stay very basic on my keto this week. I tried to stay very motivated on keeping moving, um, getting on the bike every day except for one day. Um, yeah, and I, I did do one day of uh, fasting. I uh, got in about a 30-hour fast, as well as um, trying to keep my window more narrowed into uh, a frame that was uh, from like 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. wasn't perfect. Uh, I'll be honest, but it it did help to say, okay, don't eat. It's yeah. 1030 at night. Don't eat something. Uh, get bad with those habits. You know, I think we all have our own little quirks and habits. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I was able to do pretty well, I thought, this week. And I'm glad that scale is starting to come back down a little bit. I was trying not to stress about it as much. Trying to just focus on what I can control. Yeah. <laughs> Some things we can't control and... Got to let them go, you yes. know, just trying to have faith and move forward, <laughs> which I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, I'd say overall, good week, though. Oh, I did a, a diabetic eye exam this week as well, mm -hmm. and that turned out really well. They said everything looks really good in the eyes. And then today, I'm going to go over to Costco and do a little bit of looking for a set of frames. I'm going to finally try bifocals. What do you call it? Uh what, do you, what um, was the word? Progressive. Progressive bifocals. I'm going to try them. So, yeah, wish me luck. I'm going to no go see No more bifocals. They're just progressives. <clears throat> okay. Make us not feel so old. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get some frames and have them put those into that for me since I have new benefits starting in January here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, might as well use them. Absolutely. So, last week I weighed in at 141. Um, this week I weighed in at 141.6. My body has been interesting this last uh, week and a half. Um, I believe I'm starting menopause. Hmm. It's extremely hot. Normally, I'm you're getting an early cold. birthday gift. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> this year you turned fifty, so your gift is coming early. <laughs> Lord help me! I I blamed it on Bill. I was like, you were so hot last night. I had to get out of bed and go, Wasn't me. <laughs> and go to the basement where it's cold. Now, our house is only set at 66 because we like it cooler at night. And it was still not cool enough. So I went down to the basement, which was cooler. Oh, five, and, seven degrees yeah, cooler. And I slept well. Um, and I'm starting to get them during the day now. And it's not so fun. Um, I had to apologize to Bill when I realized, oh, no. It's... Hmm. Uh, menopause potentially so, that yeah i'm sure it is they told me last year i was pre-menopause and hair was thinning and which i didn't like but whatever it is what it is and um it's been not so fun i i mean i have to laugh at it because i'm always that really chilly cold person i have heated vests i have two True. heated vests um I always wear a tank Sweater. top with their 32 degree shirt and another long sleeve shirt and usually uh, at least 
a vest on top of that, most often a heated vest, and I'm comfortable. We go to a movie, she brings a blanket. You see what I'm in today, right? T-shirt. A T-shirt. <sighs> so, t-shirt that we made. Yeah, T-shirt that we made. The yeah. Costco Strong 786. That's mm-hmm. the store I'm at in Brighton. Um, but it's been um, it's been interesting. And my coworkers are noticing, like, Stacy, your face is beat red yesterday. And I said, I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> and they're like, oh, welcome to the club. <laughs> so. Uh, Get a special card with that. I don't, want that. I don't want the special card. I don't need a discount if this is what it's going to be. And I have a feeling I'm just like. I'm going to buy you an ice maker. It's the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Uh, I'll get you a portable ice maker. So Bill said last night, he goes, I could feel the heat radiating off of your skin. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Lord. If any of you ladies out there have suggestions on how to help and how to combat it, I would greatly appreciate it. I, I feel in, um, not, not nice. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, so. Sorry we're a day funny. late, but the schedules were crazy this week. Yeah. And they usually are. Uh, we're just trying to roll with it. Uh, we're, we've got a big to-do list. We're still not done with our basement. We're working on that occasionally. Um, this week, taxes took priority. We had to get that done. Yeah. And uh, and it was a little depressing to do. We've lost two businesses this year. Um, yeah. It was a little easier in that respect because we didn't have all the contracts and all the, the, the work to put into those contracts for mileages and things like that. Yeah, we did um, one event yeah. last year for Big Daddy Body Art, and that was at the very beginning of March before all this hit and went crazy, and that yeah, was it. it. And there's and we're usually booked solid through all the way through till September, and we haven't got a single booking for this year. So I think that business is dead. Unless something big changes soon. Yeah. And then, yeah, when we closed my little mini guitars, uh, just having trouble with importing and the costs and the fees involved with shipping. And uh, primarily, my business was through craft shows, music events, mm-hmm. uh, things where we would go physically take things out. And there have been no festivals, craft shows, music shows, or events. So even toy shows, we did well at a toy show, yeah. even. Yeah. But there are none. And yeah, so that that dried up too. But uh, you just never know yeah. what's gonna come around the corner tomorrow. But on the brighter note, um, we had <laughs> some uh, vacation timeshare informa- um, points that uh, Bill's mom left for us, and um, now I have the time that we're utilizing it. So right, usually in the summertime we never have the opportunity to do anything. And now with all the credit that uh, was given to us by when my mom passed, Mm -hmm. uh, we have all these weeks of timeshare that are going to expire by 2022. March of 2022. So what we're doing is we're finding places we could drive to and we're going to just go and enjoy a week of hanging out somewhere different Mm -hmm. and just enjoy being together and doing something different. Yeah, it'll be nice. I actually booked some time off in May, which never happens for me. Um... Heading out to Albuquerque for a couple of days to see my brother and my sister-in-law. And um, hopefully three of my nieces, at least two, one is the new one, uh, London and Lorelai. And then hopefully I'm going to see Amir when I'm out there. So um, I'm happy. And possibly my nephew. I don't know if he's going to be in town at that time. But Mm -hmm. um, it just, so I guess we're going to take the silver lining that we get to spend a little bit more time together and take some time off. um, Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of road trips, a little bit of flying for you. Yeah. Stacy prefer, prefers to fly in and visit and then fly out. Um, I'm more of a, I'd rather take the, the van and make it a camper and make a trip out of it. And I don't mind that either, just the, the time She frame. doesn't have time. I want to go, when we do that, I want to head out to um, the Colorado, I'd love the to Rockies. see the yeah. Rockies. Out and, west. Yeah, out in that west area, but it's going to take... I drive, I drive often, so I don't mind driving six to nine hours at a time. And that's about, like that. that's about right for me. Six, seven hours and I'm ready to stop. Yeah. I don't like to drive 12 hour days. Right. And I don't mind driving, so it doesn't bother me. Mm. But uh, yeah, so we're going to take some, even if it's a shorter trip in the van, uh, now that we've got, you know, the blackout curtains are done. Um, yeah, we have got... beds made for the, the van and, uh, 
Lots so of stuff make it to go a in there. Yeah, we're going to make it a camper van. I'm so excited. And uh, it's a wonderful riding van. And uh, I'm excited. Yeah. So if you haven't seen our little SMB Adventures channel, check it out. We'll mm -hmm. link it above. And um, yeah, we're in the process right now of working on what we're going to use for portable power. For yes. powering our little refrigerator, powering our laptop, uh, your my CPAP. CPAP, those kind of things. <laughs> so we're doing some real world tests here at home on some portable battery packs that we purchased last year. Yeah. Um, and we're going to um, put that up soon so that we can know what we can expect out of these batteries on the road. Mm -hmm. So it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I'm excited. Yep, me too. Well, overall, this week has been better and more productive. And we are getting, you know, we're laser focused on this to-do list. We have so many things that we need to accomplish and get done. And instead of sulking about it or getting frustrated, we're just trying to focus on what can I do today? And that's, I guess, the best I could do at this point. Yep. <laughs> just, just instead of worrying and being frustrated, just focus on what can you do today, even if it's something small. Yep. And this week I'm back to a regular schedule, so... Um... That'll help make things a little easier when you talk about dinners and yeah, like dinners eating. and everything. Because for me, for lunch, who wants to eat? I don't know. I don't eat at or eight thirty nine a.m. That's your dinner. That's yeah. That's my my dinner. My lunch, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not wanting to Ready. eat at that point. Um, so my schedule has been very off. So we're gonna get back on track, and uh, hopefully my body will cooperate a little bit more. And uh, it will. You will. <laughs> You're gonna do good. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna feel it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're gonna continue to um, update on Saturday and Sundays. Obviously, sometimes it's Sunday instead of Saturday. So, um, thanks for hanging out with us, and thanks for sticking with us on this journey. The goods, the bads, the ups, the downs, the all arounds, because we <laughs> all have them, and we're just sharing where we're at. Yep. So, like to see the numbers come down, and yeah. I think we just gotta keep focused uh, with some balance. Yeah. Last I week agree. I talked about balance when you weren't here, just trying to, you know, maintain balance and, and achieve focus. Yes. And that's what I'm working on. And, I, and I'd say this week was a much better week for me. Yeah. And the, and the numbers even reflected a little bit. It's down instead of up. I was up for like, like the last three weeks. I've been creeping up and I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. But, and I've gotten some sleep too. Sleep is important. I have a couple nights of over five hours, which for me is two nights of sleep some days <laughs> <laughs> so yeah no i'm i'm doing better i used to have your good and bad but doing better overall and that's that's the important part yeah you gotta look at the big picture and have big faith picture. trust the process yeah <laughs> all right guys thank you for checking in with us and we will see you soon bye see bye. ya